Hello, I'm Assad Ahmed. Dozens of gay men turned out in East London today to give blood, although none of it can be used for medical purposes. It's because under current guidelines, gay men can't donate blood if they've been sexually active within three months of donating. The campaigners say that's unfair. Here's Thomas McGill. Just turn your hand over. There's my heart. You can give it a gentle squeeze. Giving blood for the first time, but David's donation can't be used under the current rules. I guess it just feels a bit stupid because um, for me, I'm very low risk. Um, there's no reason that I wouldn't be able to give blood. Um, and if my blood can be used to help someone, then yeah, that is pretty frustrating. And he's not alone. Matt last gave blood when he was 16, before coming out. I can't believe this is the case in 2019. I just, I really can't believe it. Like, I've just given a pint of blood, which could be used to save someone's life, potentially, but it's not. It's just going to sit there and nothing's going to happen to it. There used to be a lifetime ban on gay men giving blood, but things have moved on. In 2017, the government changed the rules to make it easier for gay and bisexual men to give blood. It now means men like those here today can only donate if they've refrained from having sex for three months beforehand. It used to be 12 months. Despite this change, campaigners say it doesn't go far enough. The criteria is very broad, it's kind of very generalised, um, kind of a homogenous groups of people. Uh, we would like to see individualised risk assessments introduced because that would open up the, the, the pool of donors to a lot more people who are currently excluded. The body responsible for running the blood donation service says it can only operate within the current government guidelines. NHS blood and transplant are part of a group of experts looking at other ways of giving blood safely, including individual risk assessments. Being told I'm not allowed because of my sexuality and who I love instead of my lifestyle and my circumstances, it just feels wrong. The blood donated today will not be used for any medical purposes. And until the group of experts present their research to the government next year, the current guidelines apply. Thomas McGill, BBC London.